tonight, Frank Warren's Sports Network, in association with our main sponsor, Red Square, the drink that packs a championship punch, proudly presents 12 three-minute rounds of boxing for the vacant WBU's light middleweight championship of the world. We'd like to welcome our viewers watching live and exclusively on Sky Sports. The officials have been appointed by the World Boxing Union in association with the British Boxing Board of Control. WBU president at ringside is Mr. John Robinson from Nordelf in Norfolk. Commissioner Tom Mullings. British Boxing Board of Control student in charge, John Williamson. Timekeeper at the bell is Mr. Dale Elliott from Hillsborough. We have three scoring judges at ringside who are all from England, namely Carl Rogers, Reg Thompson, and Tony Walker. Finally, when the action commences this evening, the referee taking part in his 132nd World Championship contest is Mr. Mickey Van from Leeds. And so live from one of the world's finest cities, Belfast, Northern Ireland, this is World Championship Boxing. <laughs> Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the pink colored shorts, trimmed with white. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 10 stones, 13 pounds, and 12 ounces. From 23 contests, he has 21 wins. Eight of those wins coming by way of knockout with only two defeats. Coming to the ring this evening as the All-Ireland like middleweight champion, and tonight is the challenger for the championship from Dublin, Jim, the Pink Panther Rock. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the solid black shorts trimmed with white. At yesterday's weight, he scaled 10 stones, 13 pounds, and 2 ounces. He has an excellent record consisting of 22 contests, 19 wins, 15 of those wins coming by way of knockout with only 3 defeats. Coming to the ring as the former WBU's light middleweight champion of the world from Margate, Tang Alu. <laughs> the referee, Mr. Mickey Van, will now give his final instructions to both boxers. This is 12 three-minute rounds. All set to go here and reluctant to get the instructions okay, at last. Guys, you both had your instructions in the dressing room. Don't forget, last thing, I want no noise with the head. Shake hands, go back to your corners, good luck. Big night for both of these two, this. Takalu, beaten by Daniel Santos at Cardiff Castle last time. Has that demotivated him? Has it flattened him a little in his career? How will he perform here? Jim Rock only one fight in the last 14 months. He'd virtually retired, he told me, earlier this week. But make no mistake, he's got himself really ready for this. He's been working since mid-November, including Christmas Day. The Pink Panther in pink. 30 years of age now, a late chance for this former Brandon Ingle fighter, who is now with John Breen's camp in Belfast. Although he's very much based in Dublin, where he runs his own garage. Good little left hand early as well from Rock, who's not to be underestimated. Takalu, two first round wins in his previous reign as WBU champion against Anthony Farnell and Scott Dixon. Good body puncher. get into this contest pretty early on, use his jab, got a bit of height and reach on Takalu, and he'll just want to take away the, the confidence of Takalu a bit early. Takalu just looking a little bit flat in this opening minute. 
getting his gloves up well and there's the trademark body punching of Takalu who did have Daniel Santos the WBO champion that's a much more prestigious title than this one on the floor at Cardiff Castle good body shot there from Rock Jim Rock with the bleach blonde hair as well really fancies the job tonight and I know his whole stable do as well jabbing twice decent work behind the jab there from Rock starting the, the better of the two this far it's worth remembering about Jim Rock that he really did give Ensley Bingham the long reigning British light middleweight champion and a big puncher a very good run for his money back in 1998 he was winning that fight I felt when he was rather controversially stopped good shot there though from Takalu Takalu just trying to step up the gears a bit in this one just trying to try and pick it somewhat just a little bit of marking under the right eye of Takalu early on Rock's worked quite well behind his jab Takalu's making the body his particular target Rock has actually fought at super middleweight before this for an Irish title he looks big in there doesn't he yes he does look big and I wonder how hard it's been just to, to make the weight for Rock. It's going on the back foot a bit later in, the, in this opening round. Welcome back. Takalu, a bit slow out of the blocks. Jim McDonald there, the talkative trainer and ace conditioner with Danny Toby and Tony Sims in the corner. <laughs> Well, it was a decent start and for most of the opening round from Rock got off with the jab quite well and caught Takalu the odd left hook. Rock is one of 13 children and he now has four of his own as well. Aged between five months and 14. Takalu just hitting the gloves with his jab. 21 wins, two defeats for Jim Rock going into this. Only eight by stoppage. Takalu 19 and three. His defeats against Jawe Kalik, Michael Jones, now the Commonwealth champion, and uh, the aforementioned Daniel Santos. Oh, good stiff jab again from Rock. He's landing with the, the left hook. It's a little bit inside of the glove now and again from Rock. He's not the, the biggest puncher out there, but a decent right hand. Well matched by the look of it, these two. Tell you what worries me a bit about Rock, no matter how well he's prepared for this one fight, there has been a lot of inactivity. He'd virtually given up the business, he told me, to concentrate on his garage. Yes, because I think the fights got, weren't coming. That's right, him. I think he got disillusioned and... You know, he, he hasn't had that, the activity and the fight that really he needs. And whether that's uh, hampered his preparation, I'm not sure. Some rough stuff on the inside. It's a bit of holding there by Takalu. And the right hand by Rock, who's certainly got the crowd in his favour here. A lot of people will have come up from Dublin to see this. And Rock goes for it here in this second round. He knows belatedly this is a huge huge chance for him well it's the sort of mood he's got to be in he's got to go out there determined and rough to try and win this from Takalu nice right hand again by Rock who certainly made the more eye-catching start of the two yes and I think he's growing in confidence now that that right hand starting to to work well Rock who says he's not in there for the money. He says, I've got enough of that from my business. I'm in here for the belt, for the kudos. Oh, and a good right hand. The tackle who didn't get out of the way of that one. Well, he's got the timing right now, Rock, and he's finding tackle who pretty easy to hit. 
but he's a gritty character, this Takalu. He prepares with 800-meter runs and things like that to get into absolutely peak condition, and he might feel the later rounds could be his territory here. See how it evolves. It's a fast start, and no doubt about it, from Rob. Well, have we got the makings of a shock? Here, I wonder, with this Jim Rock, who's a fiercely determined character. He started well, Glenn. He started very well. You know, better in the second round than the first, growing in confidence because he started to catch Tagaloo time and time again with the right hand. And, you know, he looks a little bit pensive now from taking these punches, Tagaloo. But we've learned to respect Tagaloo's usually found a way to win certainly in recent times it's a bit square on to me there's a lot of target there for rock to aim at but you feel he needs a big round don't you here takaloo to get into this fight yes he does he's got to try and find out the chin of rock he's got to catch him with a with a good punch He's looking for, for big shots, trying to load up, and I think tightly has got to try and use the jab a little bit more, just loosen up before he starts looking for the big shots. It's a bit of grudge about this as well. There was this business where Takalu didn't turn up at a press conference in Dublin, and Rock shot up his mouth a little bit about that. He says takalu has got a big mouth every time there's a camera. He can't stop talking. He thinks it betrays a lack of confidence, and so on and so forth between the two of them. Well, they've got it all to sort out now, and it's just each round going one way and the other round. Tyloo having a bit of success, then, then Rock. Rocco's got this quite bustling, busy style. Not quite doing so much in this third round. Notably trying to pick it up, looking to double the jab up and then get the, the right hand behind that, just falling short. But he's certainly pushing Rock onto the back foot. Rock just trying to change the angles here and there. He will have learned that in the past, Takalu has been outboxed once or twice. Even Gary Logan gave him a few problems before Takalu stopped him in the 10th round of what was a bit of a thriller. It was a better round for Takalu. There was a nice overcut and right hand went in. Good body shot on the inside from Rock. He doesn't look in any way phased. Didn't think he would be. He's a resilient character as well. He says he's only been on the floor once in his life, and that was in his amateur days. Certainly, Rock hasn't done as much in this round. Tagalu's starting to get through with more punches. Jabs, hooks. Takalu's been just that bit busy, a little right uppercut. That was a honey punch against Farnell for him. If Cup football replays coming up for you next week. Tuesday night from 7.30, Dunfermline against Livingston in the Scottish Cup. And on Wednesday night, also from 7.30, Millwall Southampton in their right. FA Cup replay, live only on Sky Sports. Back to Glenn and Ian. Possible upset here? Well, could be, but it's a closest fight. I think Takalu won that last round for... So I've got it two rounds to one for Rock, and I think Glen McCrory is scoring it the same. Aren't you, Glen? Yeah, exactly the same. But notably, Takalu just got himself back into the fight there, starting to find some rhythm and just roll in, throwing punches. Takalu just beginning to loosen up a little there. Just shot a glance at Rock, pulled a face at him. Rock hasn't really mixed at this kind of level before, other than in the Ensley Bingham fight. But although Takalu's often looked useful in his career, he hasn't exactly been Superman either. 
Well, he stood for a left-right combination from Rock there. He's got to keep his hands up, tackle low, not just not get too overconfident. Self-styled Pink Panther is no pussycat in there. That's a decent body shot from Takalu, maybe just a bit low, Mickey Van says. This could develop into a grueling long distance battle and quite a close one too it started looking like that hasn't it yes it has uh, rock just holding a bit inside trying to lock the left arm of takalu stop him using that Temple, and every punch he does land gets cheered by this very decent crowd at this rather well-appointed new Odyssey Arena here in Belfast. All mod cons as opposed to the old King's Hall where Barry McGuigan used to have those famous fights on his march to the World Featherweight title. Well, he's looking to throw some shots, but most of them are missing. They're getting cheered from the crowd, but the rock punch is not collect connecting solidly. And he's holding on again, Rock. Tackle is very strong, determined and persistent. Well, really wound that big right hand up, but missing wildly. It's a good right hand from Rock. But he's doing a bit less now. Tackle is starting to come on a bit stronger. Let's get another view of uh, things now. Another famous Belfast fight figure, that excellent value flyweight, Dave Boy McCauley. He's with us tonight. He's talking with Ed Robinson. Well, Dave, this one's warming up nicely. Yeah, what's happening here is if, when Jim Rock goes forward, as he did in the first round and he did in the second round, he's a real good chance of winning his fight. But when he starts to lie back and hold on, Tackle is uh, getting the advantage in. But what Rock has to do is do what he did in the first few rounds, come forward, keep the jab going and uh, work for his for his uh, combinations because he's having great success because when he's pushing Takalu back, Takalu's a wee bit lost, but when Takalu comes forward, he can dictate the terms of it, so Rock has to keep him going back at all costs. It looks like it's going to develop into a real gruelling battle. Who will handle the pace better? Well, it's all down to training. Uh, it all depends which one of these guys wants this fight the most. I would say the longer the fight goes, the more I fancy Rock, and that's being quite honest. That's my own personal opinion. Thank you. Interesting views, as always, from Dave McCauley. I remember seeing him here in Belfast in an absolute barnstormer uh, with Fidel Bassa. Really excellent fighter was Dave. Back to this one, round five. Black trunks, remember Takalu, the pink of Jim Rock of Dublin. Nicely done with the combination from Rock, who does need to just be a bit more assertive again. You think that's right, what McCauley was saying there? He's got to push Takalu back a bit. Yes, I think it is, because you know, both are having successes, but mostly on the, on the front foot. And you know, I think it really is down to who wants it more, who's got to push the other one back, who's the more determined. Takalu was certainly the favourite with the bookmakers this morning, but he's caught again by the right hand there, by Rocky grits his teeth on the way in there. Well, that's what he needs to do, Brock. He needs to put punches together, keep them coming. Very little in this at the moment, you sense. He's an uppercut from Takalu in close. Brock really needs to keep it at long range. Double jabs, right hands. That suits him better. One of Rock's problems is he's not an out-and-out out boxer. Takalu does have problems with people who can do that in front of him. He's not having to look for him that much, is he, Takalu? 
No, he's not. Tackle who's dropping his left hand quite badly, and what capitalising on that? Body punches from Takalu, right hand from Rock. Just listen to the crowd here. Every time they perceive Rock to be getting on top. I'm not sure he is really. It's just give and take, isn't it, at the moment, this? Well, he does better from long range, Rock. Got to keep those punches straight. Use that right hand as much as he can. Starting to fancy with the right hand, Rock. And Takalu does drop his left glove at times and leaves himself a bit of a target for that punch. Yes, he doesn't bring that left hand back to the chin when he throws his jab, and that's a good target for Rock. Having the box on the back foot, Rock, but doing it quite well there. Yes, he turned that right hand nicely. Takalu trying to build up some attacks, but they're not really catching Rock solidly. Just the impression of the cleaner punching coming from Rock in this round. Yes, I think so. The long right hands work well, and the, the jab. Rock's round for me. World Super Middleweight Champion Joe Calzaghe here tonight. He's waiting for Bradley Price's stablemate, who's in with Neil Sinclair for the British welterweight title next. But uh, business to be settled before that in the ring between Jim Rock and Takalu. Yes, and Rock getting good success in that fifth round with the right hand, Just putting Takalu under pressure on occasion. This is round six. Rock in the pink, remember. Looked a bit on the low side. Far, Mickey Van. She just to make quite a point of it to Takalu. Whatever was said beforehand, plenty of respect between these two now in there. because I basically thought Jim Rock had disappeared from the scene, didn't you? Until they yes. announced this fight. Yes, he got that loss against Hollywood Ian Cooper and it looked like he was going to just disappear, but he's got himself in shape. He said he had that loss to Cooper three weeks after running the Dublin Marathon and it was all still in his legs and he felt a bit flat and tired. Soon he's planning an 82-mile run for charity along the Wicklow Way. And he's finished with tonight's business, that is, of course. He might deserve a pretty long rest after this, because this one's going to be hard. It'll take some winning for either of them. A short right hand from Takalu, then a left hook. Good right hand again. Takalu picked that well to the temple of Rock. Difficult one this for the judges to score. The rounds are close-ish. Nothing that emphatic. Rock definitely, I think, won the first two. Then maybe Takalu the next two. Maybe Rock the last round. Well, Takalu is looking to try and push it forward. I'm sure Jim McDonald wants a bit more work out of him, a bit more accuracy as well. Work rate is going to be crucial here. Rock trying to force Takalu onto the back foot. He certainly doesn't look so good. He's often away with fighters when he has to go backwards, Takalu. Big right hand just walking into their rock. It's easy for us to say, forcing Takalu backwards. It's not easy, is it? Because he's always on the march. He's a yes, bit like a Sherman tank in there. He looks to roll forward and he's looking for that right hand. He likes to throw it in a curved motion. End of another round. Let's get the views of Barry McGuigan, who's watching these pictures from London. 
Yeah, and I think it's, uh, it's developing much or less the way I thought it would. Um, Rock is tough and durable. Uh, as Davy McCauley said, he's got to either box coming forward or box going back. But he's got to, he's got to do it in a concise and neat and tidy way because he's getting clipped. And I have noticed that Takalu has actually got better at, at evading punches. Uh, I don't agree with McCauley. I think the longer the fight goes, the more it will suit Takalu. He's beginning to come on now, and I believe that he'll start to dominate pretty soon. Thank you, Barry. Barry McGuigan, one of the uh, folk heroes of Irish boxing, of course. That's unusual, isn't it? Jim McDonald talking in the corner there. <laughs> Jim McDonald uh, to be quiet. But I've got a level at the, the halfway stage. It's all there to be won. Who's got the bigger finish? Into the second half of the contest. As for the light middleweight championship as recognized by the World Boxing Union. Not one of the main belts, but very important for these two fighters. The main men in the world are Oscar De La Hoya, Ronald Wright and Fernando Vargas. Good work there by Takalu with the jab. Busy start to the round for him. a nice right hand as well I actually do agree with Barry McGuigan I think the longer it goes the more you'd like Takalu's chances he might be the better condition of the two yes 2002 saw him in a 10 round and a 12 round so he's got the rounds under his under his belt the rock just had six rounds in a pretty low key fight so you'd think the, the work would see Takalu, Takalu more Takalu certainly wasn't disgraced in his defeat against Daniel Santos, and he was badly cut in that fight, to be fair to him as well. But he certainly did lose it. Rock looking for the right hand, but missing. And another factor here is that Takalu's punches are the harder ones. I think he's got more of an edge. Rocks are comparatively light hitter. Maybe his punches are having just a little less effect in what's likely to be a long-running affair. What do you think, Glenn? Yes, I think that could be right. He's just starting to get the momentum a little bit more. Takalu rolling forward, and I think that's where it could get hard for Rock. It's an absorbing contest, and I tell you something, it's getting better too, isn't it, as it goes on this. Good right hand from Takalu there. Just starting to pick his shots a bit better now. Thought he looked a bit flat and wooden early on, Takalu. Not now. Yeah, he's just doing a bit more. Maybe a bit of strength coming away from Rock, but he still gets through with a right. Big round this for Takalu. Starting to get to Rock here. Rock just breathes a little more heavily, but he is very, very durable, the Dubliner. Make no mistake about that. Eventually Bingham stopped him, but it was a contentious stoppage. Well, Tagalu managed to get his glove in the way of that punch. Clubbing right hand, I thought it was a slap from Tagalu, but he's just starting to open up his repertoire a little, throwing in uppercuts as well now. Well, I think Rock is definitely tiring in this round. Tagalu find him easier to hit at the end of the round, and that was Tagalu's round, his best round, yeah easily that was the most emphatic round i would say that either fighter has had in the contest today yes exactly right and you just got the feeling he was the stronger at this stage just got the momentum starting to roll forward getting more shots off and his accuracy is a bit better now there's the, the right hand. Saw that sparring with Grant uh, Bobby that did it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, somehow. No, lots of decent work inside. For the first time, you just sensed that Rock was tiring and he was getting through more and more. Just started to knock Rock about a little bit at the end of that round. Nice run. Uh, he's a willing character. 
tackler and he wants it badly you feel tackler that's been the way with him all the way through his career and he lets go a big right hand at the start of the round i think he feels that the strength is just starting to drain from rock a little here these are bad moments for jim rock he's getting hit here with some heavy looking shots not getting out of the way of them caught between a rock and a hard place you could say yeah he's got to start fighting back he's got to find out a good punch look for a mistake by Takaloo badly needs to re-establish himself in the fight Jim Rock here and this is a good little comeback from him here though he didn't land cleanly with the right hand I think one of his problems is he just doesn't seem to have anything to really make a dent in Takaloo with. He's trying to get his jab working and some straight punches going Rock. The corner are yelling at Jim Rock, push him back. John Breen and Bernardo Shaker. We really like the look of Rock's work in the build-up to this fight, but he has to somehow get Takaloo onto the back foot. You do feel that is the key. Can he do it though? I'm not sure. Morocco's taking the center of the ring, trying to have stubborn resistance and just move forward further. Oh, big right, Takalu. That sent the sweat spraying under the arc lights. Well, that was a heavy shot, but Rock comes back with a, a right of his own. So plenty bottle, Jim Rock. He is. He's having to dig quite deep. He's a determined character, though, and you just get the feeling with him that he actually relishes all this. He wants to be there. He took some heavy shots in this round. Probably the, the big right hand a few seconds ago. Good effort here from Rock. He's taken a lot, and back he comes at Takalu. But his punches don't seem to have that much in them, and that's the, the problem, I think, for Rock. I just wonder whether Takalu might be a little dispirited, because I think he really thought he had him on the verge I think a minute did. or so ago, and yeah. somehow Rock's come back from that. Well, that could get to a fighter like Takalu. He's hit him with his best shots, worked hard in this round, and Rock's still there. Terrific round. Big start by Takalu. And Rock has fought back doggedly. But it is Takalu's round. Look at the two fighters. A little marking under the right eye of Takalu. Nothing much. Takalu's landed more punches, and I've got him a couple of points ahead now. Yes, my card's the, the same as yours, Ian. But he dropped off a little bit off some very good work. Decent right hand on the, the chin of Rock. And he, he had a few successes like that one in the early part of the round. But then when Rock stayed upright, he just seemed as if he lost a little bit tackle, a little bit of motivation, and allowed Rock to get back into it towards the end of the round. <laughs> Trying to G up Jim Rock even further. Not that he needs a lot of Ging up, I don't think, for this. Second choice. Ninth round. It must have been a good fight for this light middleweight championship. Crowd enjoying it here. We thought this one might be intriguing. It's turned out that way as well. And whatever the result now, you'd have to say Rock has acquitted himself pretty well. There's Glenn's card. Yep, two points ahead after eight rounds, so... You know, there's still there's still everything to fight for, but he doesn't want to lose many more rounds, Rock. I think he needs, really, a very, very big finish, Jim Rock, from this point in. Oh, right hand! He's an absolute corker! He walked onto it, Rock, and he's flattened for the first time in his pro career. Up he goes, he doesn't know where he is. It's going to be stopped, the towel's been thrown in. It's all over, and Takalu did that with an absolute peach of a punch. He is the WBU's 
light middleweight champion all over again. And Rock is in a bad way. That was one of the biggest punches we've seen in a British ring in recent times. It really was a thunderous right hand. And he was in a, in a bad way. Jim Rock, who's got him sitting down now, but Kagalu found the punch that mattered. I think he walked onto it and that kind of doubled the impact. Well, he'd been trying that shot early on, time and time again. He'd been missing by an awful lot. But eventually, he got it. I think the, the reason why Rock was starting to tire. Takalu was just saying to him, he said a few things before the fight, but it was only to sell the tickets. He didn't mean it. Rock's accepted that. He knows the business. But credit to Takalu coming back after that loss against Daniel Santos with a really good win against Jim Rock here in Dublin. It was a fine fight. I think he was on his way to winning it anyway. Seemed that way to me, and he made sure like this. He did. He just waited for the gap. The chin went up, and then flush on the chin. All his weight into it, just as Rock was coming forward, and Rock could never continue from that punch. Yeah, he somehow scrambled to his feet, but he was all over the place. That was a fight ending punch it wasn't quite the lights out treatment but it was the next best thing well yeah it was good enough it certainly was a, a really good shot and the referee could never have let jim rock go on he was still in no man's land and you have to say about takalu has his technical limitations that he's very fiery and at this kind of level he takes a lot of dealing with he certainly does and you know, he's fit kept the shots going in and He's always got that, that big punch, and he found it for this one. All over in round nine, Takalu is the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, after 49 seconds of round number nine, referee Mr. Mickey Van has reached the count of ten. Your winner by way of knockout, and once again, the WBU's light middleweight champion of the world from Margate, Tak Alu. That's interesting there because the referee motioned to us that he did reach a count of 10 and he did count out Jim Rock. Just to confirm that, that announcement is right. It was a knockout, a counter. Neil Sinclair getting ready to defend his British welterweight title tonight in Belfast for the third time against Bradley Price. Sinclair, one of the most destructive punchers we have, hoping now to establish himself as our best at welterweight. But he's got something to live up to as a puncher tonight, hasn't he, Sinclair, after that performance from Takaloo. Knocked out Farnell Barry, knocked out Scott Dixon early. He has the power. There's no doubt, I, I noticed a vast improvement in his ability to, to avoid punches. He's getting better, he's putting it together. That fight, the fact that he went the distance with Santos, he knows he can fight in world class. That finishing right hand was awkward looking and amateurish, but we could see that what he was trying to do. But it was a superb shot. It, may, it, it looks amateurish when you miss, but when it lands, we can see just from that the devastating effect it can have. This guy's getting better. And he knows how to come through in hard fights as well. He's done that as well as a few short knockout wins. Ed Robertson will have a word with him now. Well, Taklu, WBU champion for the second time, and you won it with an absolutely incredible punch. Oh, it was a great... I mean, I was working... I set him up with a jab, and uh, there he was there. I've been working on his last day in the gym. I felt a little bit, like, you know, a little bit tired because all the travelling, I said, with all the, all the snow and everything, it took us a long time to get here. A lot of my fans couldn't make it to the fight, but hopefully they'd have seen it on TV, like... When I called him, Antonio seems I'm glad he was in here. He was at the airport with and he apologised he couldn't be here. And my friends in Spain, all of them been stuck there. A lot of people coming to it, but it's a shame for the snow and all the airports closing. It was a brave, strong challenge from Rock, wasn't it? Like I said, he was in the same position that I was against Santos. You know, when you get an opportunity like that, and you know it's your last fight, and you want to give it everything, you find your home crowd, and the crowd were brilliant. You know, they were singing him along, cheering him along. But you know, I got a good reception as well. But like I said, everywhere I went in Ireland, the people have been great to me. You know, they treat me really, really well. You know, I've got a lot of uh, immigration problems with uh, being a British citizen. If I can't be a British citizen, I'll come to Ireland and be an Irish citizen. You know, our, our people have been great to me, and uh, I'm once again happy to be the WVU champion. You had a point to prove, didn't you, after losing to Daniel Santos yeah, last time? I want to prove that I belong. 
in a world class. And I wanted to look good today. Hopefully I did that. That's it. I only boxed for about six months. I was a little bit rusty. I feel a bit rusty, so I got my time in. But uh, he was tough, and he, he stuck to his game plan. He was trying to box me more. But I had to set him up, draw him into a fight with my jab. I said, I've been working on my hand speed a little bit. But he was really awkward today and strong. But uh, once again, I've just got to thank Frank Warren for giving me the opportunity, and John Robinson and everyone. Well, well done, Tackley. Well done tonight. I'll come back tomorrow, I'll give you the belt. Yes.